Hello and welcome to Word 2010 Table of Authorities. This is part three of a four-part series. Today's lesson is how to insert a Table of Authorities. Now, before you insert your Table of Authorities, there's really only two things to consider. They're kind of important, though. If your document has just a title page and then the rest of the body of the document and you want your table of authorities on its own page, you do one procedure. If, however, you have a title page, then you have a table of contents and you want your table of authorities to be on a separate page, you're going to do something different. Let's start with the first one. Uh, just a title page. First thing, go to home, turn on your paragraph marks. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, go down to the bottom of your title page and you're going to want to put in page layout, breaks, you're going to want to put in a section break, next page, then you're going to want to hit enter a couple times and put in a secondary section break next page okay now you have an individual page hit enter a few more times give yourself some space you have your title page separated from your table of authorities page and just you know delete off the extra lines this will keep your uh, table of authorities page all on all by itself and I'll just simply type in table of table of authorities what is all right make that baby just a little bit bigger and we'll just make it black there we go okay now you can now doing it this way you can put in specialty footers or specialty headers and they will not affect the rest of your document now next let's go to the second one if you have let's turn on our peas if you have a table of contents chances are real good you have a specialty footer numbering here you may have specialty logo across the top okay here's what you do to put in your table of authorities and keep that specialty footer number find the bottom of your table of contents just click any one of the bottom lines it doesn't matter which one and this time page layout breaks put in a regular page break. Now your table of contents page will sit by itself. You will have a specialty page just for your table of authorities and the rest of your document will remain the same. However, as we notice down at the bottom, our specialty footer with the Roman numerals, there's number two, stays and continues with our table of authorities. It goes from our table of contents and continues straight through our table of authorities. I'm just going to type table of authorities there just so we can keep our pages straight. Alright, give that, bump that up some just so it looks better. Okay, those are the only two considerations before you insert table of authorities. If you have a table of contents, put in a page break if you have a regular title page then just put in a section break next page follow both of them with a section break next page now let's go on to inserting our table of authorities this is all pretty straightforward there's not much to it go up to references we know where the mark citation box is go up to the little bitty one to insert, insert table of authorities give it a click okay first thing this print preview is not your stuff okay this is sample material put in just to show off the use pass them and the tab leader okay that's that's this is not your stuff okay use pass them pass them is a latin word that means scattered throughout if you have a citation that shows up five pages or more you will and you check use passum you will get passum you there will be no page numbers you will get the word passum if you have a citation that is five pages or more and you uncheck use passum then 
you will get, yes, the page numbers. See, DAFCO Corp 1358. Five or more is the magic marker, okay? So if if you have a, a citation that you've used 12, maybe 13 times, all those numbers may not fit. You may want to check use PASM, and you will get the PASM word. It's pretty much up to you what you want your table of authorities to look like. Tab leaders, pretty self-explanatory. Up here we got the dots. If you want an underscore, then as you can see, you get the underscore. If you want dashes, uh, you get the dashes. It's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go back to the dots. Uh, next box, category, all. Uh, it's a good idea to check all if you want everything to show up. Every every category that you have used, including like your specialties, like we got specialties and our SSs. If we want those to show up, click all. Everything will show up. If you want just cases to show up and nothing else, click cases. Then click OK. If you want statutes to show up, specialty, like statutes, click OK. Now down at the bottom here, we have mark citation this I don't know I don't know it brings up the mark citation box at this point I really don't see why anybody would want that okay go back up the corner okay so there's really not much purpose to that it, modify is a global format changer okay I mean you click modify and you will get TOA headings this is the reverse of what you would think headings it shows up on the bottom in this box table of authorities that is your citations this is a global change okay if you know for fact click modify that you need Times New Roman 12 point for absolutely every one of your <laughs> every one of your citations in your table of authority do it now click OK pow Every one of your citations will show up as table of authority will show up as Times New Roman 12 point. Your headings are the same globally if you know for a fact you will need uh, Arial and you want 12 point. Do it now, click OK, and every heading will show up Arial 12 point. Click OK. We've made our modifications. Alright. Oh, keep original formatting over here. If this checkbox is checked and your citations in your document have italics or special bold or underlining, it will show up that way in your table of authorities. If your table of authorities needs to be generic, uh, then uncheck that. And there will be no special bold, italics, etc. Right now I'm going to keep the formatting. Other than that, we modified them and click OK. Pow zoom she shows up that's how it if you want it more centered just go ahead and click enter hit enter a few times put in some words or uh, delete some and that's basically it now let's go over to our table of contents for a fast review okay over to our table of contents okay we're putting in our table of authorities we click where we want the insertion point go up to references insert table of contents we do not want to use passum because we have five or more and we want all our page numbers to show up we want to keep the original formatting the way it shows up in our document yes we want some dots uh, no, we, this time we don't want to modify any of our categories or our uh, citations. So we're going to click OK and boom, boom, boom. In she goes. Let's zoom in some. And that's pretty much the whole nine yards of how to insert a table of authorities. Now the next video, Formatting, will show you how to format a table of authorities. But for now, that's how you insert a table of authorities. Thank you very much, and please have you a good day.